Countries around the world are competing to dominate the so-called hydrogen economy. The Korean government has announced its mid- to long-term plan to manufacture 6.2 million hydrogen and set up 1,200 hydrogen recharging stations by 2040. Despite this ambitious plan, Korea faces many challenges ahead. Here are the details. A hydrogen fuel cell powers this drone inspecting the power lines. A drone is barely capable of flying for 20 minutes with an ordinary battery, but with a hydrogen one, it can stay in the air for two hours. A hydrogen fuel cell produces electricity by combining hydrogen and oxygen. This method is not only highly efficient in power generation, but also environmentally friendly, since only clean water is discharged during the production process. The Korean government plans to expand the supply of hydrogen fuel cells for power generation to match the amount generated by 15 nuclear reactors by 2040. The government projects that hydrogen vehicles and hydrogen batteries will help create 43 trillion won in added value for the hydrogen-related industries and 420,000 new jobs in 2040. There are, of course, many challenges ahead. The biggest issue is how to boost hydrogen supply. Currently, Korea's annual hydrogen production stands at 130,000 tons, 90 percent of which are byproducts from the oil refining process. There's a limit to supplying hydrogen this way, and the process can hardly be called environmentally friendly. So the first challenges to be tackled are the development of a new production method and expansion of the facilities needed for hydrogen transport. In addition, hydrogen-related businesses say that it is urgent to ease various regulations, including the limitations on the establishment of hydrogen recharging stations.